All right, you guys asked for the swing loader, and we're back with the Mechalac, and I'm back with Monty. How you doing, buddy? Good, you? Good, good to see you again. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Monty's from Trenchers Plus. These guys are not sponsoring this video. In fact, I pestered them, knocked on the door, called, mess I, I messaged John so many times. I finally sat down with him. I'm like, what does it take? And he's like, all right, we got two machines coming in. We'll set some time aside, and we figured it out. So thank you. You bet. What is this thing called? This is a Mechalec AS600. And what that stands for, the S, obviously, it's a swing loader. So she'll rotate from all, we have it shown this way. She'll come all the way around and come out, you know, swing this side. As much as she can lift here, she can lift it all the way on the side. How much can she lift here? 4,500 pounds. Okay, so, and you don't worry about tipping that over at all? No, because i'm new at this but there's a there's a shock it's built in where it adds a force to it's like a counterweight on this side to keep it from tipping okay but this is also a little bit different than a standard loader in a number of ways as well because yes. this doesn't articulate it doesn't articulate it's a rigid frame machine and so what that means there's three modes you can have on this particular loader you can have just your front wheels turn you can coordinate the steering so then you have your front and your rear wheels turned together so you can make really tight corners or you can crab steer so let's say you gotta walk sideways into something grab it and you can walk back out how much does this machine weigh almost 10,000 pounds okay so a guy can tow it on a skid loader trailer easy. yes easily and does this have just take special mechalac uh, attachments? No, that's it. It's like a JRB coupler. You know, the regular kind of JRB coupler. Just hooks in, pins come out. A lot of, lot of the other, lot of the other brands, manufacturers using the same coupler. Right. Okay. So this won't take. If a guy has skid loaders, you couldn't, you couldn't hop into your skid loader attachments and no, grab this. No. But we do have. You, we can get a bracket. A bracket. Okay. And make it. You know, so it'll adapt to a skid steer you, plate. Okay. That makes sense yes. in my book. What power is this thing? A uh, 50 horsepower Deutz. So we're. We don't have any of that def or any of that nightmare stuff. Everything is easy to get at. Oil. Roomy cab. Very roomy cab. Okay. What are we looking at here? Well, there you go. So, when you're to turn it on, where your ignition switch is in the back, you turn it the first click, push button start. Um, here's your modes. Here's when you're okay to stop. What do you mean to stop? So let's say we start it up and it doesn't do anything. We can't get it to operate. It's like a safety. Okay. Turn it to there and then she can go. It'll, it'll operate. You got to have this knob to there. Okay. Here's your steering configuration. It's over here, just your front wheels. Over here, it's coordinated. Yeah. Over there, it's a crab steer. This has got to be your bucket and boom attach right here. Yep. That red's got to coordinate with the red on the front of the machine. And here's your hazards here. Am I right or am I wrong? I'm, yeah, I'm this asking. is your hazards. Here's your bucket on latch right here. Well, I thought, what is this one then? I'm not sure. I can't tell you. Okay. And we don't know what that one is at no. all. Because who knows? No, These are... universal symbols get way too universal for me to tell you the truth. Because that doesn't tell me anything. Just give me three letters or a better hint than that. But that's just me being so, a yeah. picky Polak. Right. Right. You're not supposed to agree with that. Only Polish people can agree with that, Ronnie. <laughs> right. Oh boy. What else do we need to know? How many speeds is this guy? Looks like it's, it's all, got it's very, it's two speeds. That, that's no. all. That's all your windshield wiper. It's all variable speed. Oh, so it's got a hydrostatic yes. transmission. Yes. Yes. It's all hydrostatic. Okay. Then here's how you make it go forward. Nice. Reverse. This is your, your gas. Your brake. And this is this lever here rotates your your swing back and forth. Oh, and do we have two brakes? Yes. Yeah, that's brake. 
break and break. Okay. Yeah. And these are made in France. France. Okay. France. And let's talk about that. We talked about that in the other video, but let's just re wash, rinse, and repeat for this one. The warranty on this is what, money? Two year, 2,000 hours. And this is made in Europe, but one of the things we've got to caution you about is your, not all European equipment has this American standard, what we're used to in America, that kind of warranty. Can you explain what that so, warranty is? So what, some, there's some brands out there, what they do is once they build it, once it's shipping here, once it leaves their factory, the meter's ticking on the warranty. Where on these particular models, you buy it from us or whatever, from us and the meters or your warranty starts when you take delivery of it so, so, so you get a solid two year 2000 hours so a good example is multi one does that where as soon as a machine is built at the factory the warranty is activated Correct. and if it takes a year for it to get shipped to the united states and then six more months for it to be bought somebody may think they're getting a three-year warranty but what they're really getting is 14 months left of warranty or here. yeah or whenever it yeah when who whenever, knows whenever it you don't started. know you don't yeah. know it's not a, know. it's not a true time warranty correct it's prorated is my understanding correct but this one is true from the day a guy signs on the dotted line yes he gets the warranty starting at that point that's correct is the warranty transferable no okay no so don't sell it <laughs> Why would Use you? it, love it, bring it to breakfast. Exactly. All right. That, here's a parking brake. I mean, it's all pre pretty much Is simple. this a mechanical parking brake? Yes. How many pumps does this have? I'm guessing three. You're guessing three. Okay, it's good to know because with my, uh, with my sledge, I think that's a dual pump system and boy you can tell because yeah. you got to slow the machine down to activate the pumps and you got to put it in neutral then you got to wrap it up to get it to go sure so i don't know if this one functions like that or not or if this is this one is brand new to us so i haven't spent much time in this one at all yeah you didn't even know how to start it up when i first walked <laughs> up he's like can you give me a couple minutes because i've never actually seen this is this one of the first ones uh in minnesota at least of this brand we we had four four of the other ones they're gone we already sold all those they were the bigger ones how are you so you had these how long have you been carrying these for money mechalex we've been four years four years and how many issues have you had with the, these coming back to you not honestly honestly not much a little like a one customer had a switch go bad otherwise we don't we don't have and that was on the mcr on the mcr yes. and on that mechalock 8 over there and if you guys want to see that video uh that's just just we already made it but let me know in the comments down below and we'll we'll get that video ready for you as well or if it's already out go check into the library i don't know what time you guys are seeing this or what order these are getting released but uh all right well can we give it a test run money we sure can okay so he's got it in standard steer mode right now so one of the things i learned about these swing loaders is they're actually fairly common over in europe and they're used heavily on farms especially where they've got tight stalls and they can't steer the entire piece of equipment to make it turn that's where that swing loader comes in handy. Hey Nate, just so you know, that's not 5,000 pounds by any means. This one's not? No, those are, those are, that's more like 2,000, 3,000 pounds most. The caps are, but that's fine. We'll just show it, show it doing its thing. But can you come out so we can see it?
activate the sling loader if you notice a slight jarring in the camera. What that is, is that's the actual machine counterweight system being activated to, to counterbalance the swing loader. So as the loader goes over to one side, the counterweights and the other part of the machine counteract it.
See that jerk? Hydrostatic transmission, I kind of like that. You feel it just... That's the counterweights. You can feel it. that's gonna call it for this video you guys parking brake is on turn her off so she stops beeping at me and that's it for this well there you guys are what, were, are you, what was so interesting down there all right you guys well that's all we got for you on this one is this called a swing loader or what? Yeah, swing loader. Yeah. Swing loader. All right. And this is called a MCR. But does it have like a swing loader name, like the Skexcavator or something cool like <laughs> what that? Call it Transformer. That? The Transformer. <laughs> Transformer. So if you guys haven't seen the Transformer <laughs> video, say hey, hit. Get the transformer video going in the comments down below, but that's it for the Mechalac swing loader on this one. Big thanks goes out to these guys. Nate, thanks for everything that Absolutely. you did. Appreciate it. In that one. Thanks, Monty. Right, Appreciate thanks, it. Stan. Thanks for the, the edumacation on how that yeah. counterbalance works. Now, real quick, Monty, if these guys wanted more information on these, how, what would they do? Uh, you can call into our office. We're located in Burnsville, Minnesota, Trenchers Plus. Call 952-890-6000 and ask for John. And then whatever area in the state you are in, we'll get one of us pointed to you and we can get out to you and show you these machines. Cool. All right. Thank Thanks guys. All right, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know what you think of it in the comments down below. And uh, that's all we got for you on this one. God bless you guys, go get them, and hopefully we will see you on another one. Hit that subscribe button, the thumbs up goes a long way, and we'll catch you guys later.